Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to our channel. And today I got a really big announcement for you guys for Pi Hosted Series. So let's get started. So we have finally added support for mini PCs, desktops, servers, normal appliances that you guys normally use. I know you guys have been requesting for this for quite some time. I actually see it a lot in my comments. Does this work for PC? Do you have a list for PC? Like a lot of these comments and we have finally shifted over and added support for it on our template. I do want to give a huge thanks to our middle on Discord as well as Blumberg on Discord as well. They were the two biggest help on getting this template working to support AMD 64. Now, the biggest reason why you want to use our template over other templates that you just randomly find online is because we build our volume structures that will match up to other volume structures on other containers. So if you've seen other templates for Portainer, chances are the volume doesn't match up. Some would say volume slash Portainer slash config. Some would say volume one. Some would say, you know, different folders that your server doesn't even have. So on top of that, on dockers that require more than just installing the string that requires like in building a database or creating a specific file, we have scripts in place for specific containers that will actually create these files for you. Almost all the containers on our list are tested against Raspberry Pi right now. We are testing a lot for the AMD 64. Chances are if you do run into a bug or two, uh, come join our Discord. Uh, we do have a little discussion for it on the bottom left called Pi Hosted AMD 64 and or post up your issues on our issue board. This way we could fix it there as well. So to jump into the GitHub real quick, uh, this is the Pi Hosted slash Pi Hosted GitHub. You could use this one. You, they have issues here as well. Or you can navigate over to the Nova Spirit version. It is exactly the same. It's mirrored. We both have issues. Um, we're trying to keep it all in one place. We're trying to move everything to Pi Hosted slash Pi Hosted. But either one does work. Now going down the list, uh, if I head over to templates, you will see now the AMD64 template right over here. Or if you scroll down a little bit, it is also over here, the AMD64. So it'll show you the supported OSs, AMD64. It is great view. What we also done is added some new things to our documentation. So if you go over to docs, app list, Yes, we do have an app list on here. Um, it will show you we have 164 apps for ARM32, 174 for ARM64, and 172 for AMD64. So you notice that some apps that are particular to only ARM64 will be removed off this list and it keeps growing. We have a pretty decent amount of containers in our template and it just keeps growing, especially when you guys report about it or ask about something, we will try to add it into our template just to make it as big as possible. Anyway, that is it for the announcement. That's something that I just wanted to tell you guys. I'm super excited for it because I actually been meaning to build a mini PC with all these containers in this guy. And I know a lot of people are trying to build mini PCs as well, or if they have old Optiplexes or laptops or something where they wanna use this template because it's so compatible, but they can't because I didn't make a list for it. So here we are, we have everything supported now. Anyway, that is it for me. If you guys have any questions, come join our Discord. Um, we have a lot of good people in there that will help you out with any problems that you may run into. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And then say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.